Hello friends, it is I, Eating Shit Food Reviews. And today, I'm here to eat some more shit. What I have, what I have here today is, uh, uh, we decided, I decided to get myself some international shit. Now, I don't know if you noticed this by maybe some of the varieties of fruits and other things I've been eating, but my local, my local uh, grocery store has an international food aisle. So sometimes it's nice to go in there and, you know, check it out, see what they have. And you can, sometimes you can get some in, in, interesting fare from other cultures. They got, because we have a pretty, we have like a big Asian population and stuff like that, so... They sell a lot of Asian foods and stuff like that. And today we have what's called here is Meiji's Hello Panda. It says biscuits with strawberry cream. And uh, it's got all these little like panda guys on it, right? And, you know, on the, let's just take a look at the back here. Uh, back to the front, I mean. And here we go. And he's doing all these sorts of fun things. Like he's in a martial arts uniform. And if you take a look, he's skiing. Uh, yeah, I can't see it too. Oh, you can't see it? Well... Well, here, let me just uh, hold it up front there for you. I think he's skiing, roller skating. Fucking, I can see him. He's like kite surfing. He's holding a tennis racket that looks like a pineapple. It's like a tennis racket with like a crown on it or something like that. And um, one man sailing. I don't know, like, I don't know. There's a picture of him, like, it lo honestly, God, it looks like he's playing, like, volleyball with, like, a baseball or something. If that's what we have. They're like a, they're like a little cookie, I think. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, what the heck? Uh... My lovely assistant girlfriend camera woman cracked him open on the last night here. That's that's why they don't wear that perfect. And I, and I, and I parked hook. I parked hook. So, you know. I'm not going to be one of those people who goes on the internet and tells lies. Sounds like I haven't eaten these before. And I have. But whatever, you know, we're going to have to eat them again. Have a little bit of fun with me here, you know. Because there's one thing, you know, that's really the real reason why I do reviews is because, like, I have, a, I have a real taste for, for eating on camera. Okay, well, anyways. I'll, like, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like, here's what would happen. Usually is you'd... You'd open this, right? And it'd be, oh, look at that. And inside, we have a little foil package for freshness. That way they don't taste like cardboard. You know, keeps the cookies crisp and the cream creamy. Okay. And um, to open it inside, what you have here is, and it, they make good. <laughs> I was about to say that they make good on their... Uh, on their depiction of the cookies having like little designs on them of the panda doing like little sports and stuff like that. Except for this one, they put like the like cream fill hole right in his fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so depending on where they put that hole sometimes, it makes for a bit of a, a bit of a garish image, right? Like it all. And this is I wouldn't want my kid eating this is gonna cause him nightmares for God's sakes. Um <laughs> and uh, and then the the cookie itself is shaped like a little panda head, okay? I'm going to bite it in half here. No, actually, no, I was going to say one other thing. The problem is, one thing, I usually don't spend too much time in the, uh, I went with something pretty safe this time. I'm going to get grosser stuff, or like maybe not grosser stuff, but more interesting stuff in the future. The problem is when I go to the international aisle of the, uh, of the grocery store, I always feel like such like, I, like, I always feel like such a, like a culturally insensitive ass, like such a dink, you know what I mean? Because I'm like walking and being like, look at all the crazy food they eat, guys. This crazy food that they eat. Oh, it's so weird. And the thing is, it's not there for me to do that. It's there so they can get like staple foods or like you know, or foods that they that that you know that that is that is clo that are close to them, right? Sometimes see, they're making fun of me, like, look at those freaks. It's like being on Fear Factor. Am I right? Am I right? Like, I don't know. I just I feel like an asshole whenever I buy foods there. So I'm always like in and out of there, like I'm like I'm like I'm doing some sort of like you know clandestine like 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 uh, operation that I shouldn't be doing. Anyways, okay. So now now I'm gonna bite them in half. Sorry about that little preamble. Now bite this one in half. Mmm. Mmm. You can see the inside of it. It's full of cream. One element I maybe find a little bit disappointing is that, like, if you look at the box, no, here. If you look, if you look here. But if you look at the box, it looks like cream is like spilling out of it. It's much more luxurious looking, right? And like, I'll tell you what, like, you know, <laughs> that, that cream ain't going nowhere. Like, you know, it's. <laughs> You know, the cookies will fall out of there before the cream does. So, that's not entirely true. But I guess traditionally you don't bite them in half. Like, you eat them in one big bite. Mmm. Mmm. The strawberry cream is delicious, right? You know, it tastes, uh... It tastes kind of like medicine. <laughs> How would I put this now? In a good way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In a good way, right? It tastes... It tastes just close enough to medicine to be delicious, but just far enough away from medicine to be delicious, okay? The cookie on the outside is pretty plain. It's not, like, overly sugary or anything like that. It ain't gonna, like, hurt your teeth or, you know, give you that, like, overly sick feeling. 
This thing cost me a buck, and you could probably wolf down a bag of these things without, you know, without without batting an eye. Let's take a look at some of our other, like, fun, you know. Oh, well, there's him. There's him surfing or pair, uh, wind, wind surfing or something. There's him wind surfing. Oh, here, let me just, my camera lady's telling me that she can't, that I have to, like, hold still. This the is. The camera won't focus. The camera won't focus. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry for you guys. Anyways, wind surfing. And there's another fill hole in it. On some of them, the fill hole is in the back. Oh, this one's the fill hole's in the back. And it's him. Ooh, some of the design rubbed off. But it's him playing tennis or badminton or something. He looks like he's having a good time. But that's actually one thing. One thing to be said about these things, too, is they have the, an overt cuteness. They're absolutely adorable, right? And, I mean, you know, I don't care if this makes me a bitch. That adds to my eating experience. I enjoy it. I was like, you know, it's, oh, it's adorable. I do this every time. Like, literally... When I'm not on camera, my girlfriend's sitting there, and I just look at the designs and announce them. I'm like, oh, now he's playing baseball. Oh. Oh, he's playing hockey here. Fuck, I couldn't quite tell. There's a little, <laughs> there's a little Canadian love for you. Let's see what else he has. I like to see him with a cricket bat. Oh, he's, uh, he's just windshilling that one. Let me see if I can find him. Ooh, deadly. Oh, he's skateboarding here. Uh, my lovely sister camera woman missed my cue. I wanted her to show it to the camera before she ate it. <laughs> she just ate it out. But as much as we have, we like it out because we have another one. Oh, there we go. Well, you know what? I don't know. These things are a buck. If you see them, if you can order them online, dude, they're fun. I like it better than Pocky, and that's usually the, like, textbook, like, fucking, like, weeaboo snack that people eat. So, I don't know. Rock and roll, man. Eat them. I'm out.